Oh my God, my puppy ran away is my topic. Oh my God. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, uh, this nightmare happened yesterday. I just want to share the story with you all. And um, oh. anyway, what happened was yesterday about 6.30, it was 6.30 p.m. in the evening. And we left the dog outside in the yard playing around and you know we figured we've been doing that we didn't think anything of it but she was up to no good <laughs> she's been naughty no mind you she's just a puppy she don't know what she's doing she's playing around and blah 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 so she started digging a hole and she digged it so deep that she was able to go underneath the fence and escape that's how deep the hole was. So there was two little boys that lived next door to us. They were playing and they saw what happened. So what they did was try to catch the puppy. But instead, the puppy started to run. Because that's what she does. If you chase her, she's going to run. She loves that. She loves when you chase after her. So then the puppy went across the street to the other neighbor's house. Now that's when the mother came over to our house and she rang the doorbell. And she let my husband know that my puppy is across the street. So my husband was like, oh my God, he just, he didn't take no phone, no nothing. He just ran out just like that. So when I heard the doorbell, I didn't know what was going on. Okay. So I heard the doorbell. I look out my window. I'm upstairs now and I see a commotion. I see my husband, two little boys, and I see my dog and I'm like, oh my God, Maxie's loose. So I immediately went downstairs and as I was going downstairs, I opened the front door and I see that the, the lady was standing in front of my lawn. And then she comes and she starts to talk to me about da, 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 what happened and blah, blah, blah. So I said to her, you know what? I am going to hop in my car to see if I could catch up with them and find them. Now, mind you, Pennsylvania is a huge country-like place, okay? If you don't have any type of phone or you can't, if, you know, my husband have no phone, no nothing. There's no way I, I communicate with him. I would never find him just, just like that. So as I was driving away, the two boys said they are at the cemetery. Okay. So I decided to go to the cemetery. I took my youngest son with me and we was, let's go drive to the cemetery. Now the cemetery is humongous. Okay. So I tell my son, you watch out on this side. I watch out on this side and we just driving on this huge cemetery. I see no signs of my husband, no sign of the dog. Okay. So I decide to get, you know, go back on the road and start driving up. I'm driving back and forth like a lunatic looking crazy. Then I'm a, people look at me like, what in the heck? Cause I kept passing back and forth. And there was people like in the front of their house, like they kept noticing, you know, what's wrong with her? She, she cuckoo or something. So to make a long story short, I decided just to go back home because I'm like, there's no way that I'm going to find my husband. You know, he don't have no phone on him. There's no way we, we have to communicate. Okay. So I go in the house. My two daughters are home and I'm emotional at this point. Like, oh my God, I can't believe we lost our dog. We just had her. And I'm really, I've grown attached to this dog okay because i love her i love my puppies i love my dog i love animals i just you know and i was just worried because you don't know what could happen she could get hit by a car another dog could attack her she could get stolen you know you know i was thinking all these things so a couple of minutes later my husband decides to come home without the puppy so i really had a you know emotional attack so my children see me crying they're crying and it was just a crazy depressing situation going on in the household so my husband was like, you know what? Um, I told my husband, what are we going to do? I said, yeah, I think we need to just, you know, call the cops, you know, make some copies of the puppy, you know, give it to the neighbors and blah, blah, blah. So we decided to just go and keep searching. We didn't want to give up. So instead of doing that, we felt like by being in the house and doing all of that is going to just waste time. So why not go? We might just happen to see her. So we drove around and nothing, nada. Okay. We just kept driving and going back and forth. And I was like, it's a wrap. She's out of here. And then, you know, and we had like this crazy road with this big trucks that passes there. You know, you find a lot of dead deers and you, you could get killed on that road, especially with this puppy. She's like crazed and she's not thinking and she's like, <laughs> you know, and she, you know, so we automatically was like, maybe she's passed away. 
Maybe she got hit by a car. Maybe another dog attacked her. There's some big dogs around here. We just thought about all the most, everything negative is what was in our minds. Because, you know, we didn't want to be negative, but it, what are you supposed to think? She's a puppy, you know. You know? So, we, you know, I'm so thankful for my neighbors. Um, we spoke to a couple of people. We gave them our numbers. If you see this puppy, please let us know, blah, blah, call us. But we even went to like different neighborhoods, like, um, you know, close to our town, but, you know, further out because, you know, the puppy could be anyway. We was driving around. We saw people walking. It was like, have you seen a puppy? Da -da? Here's my number. They, we gave our number out. If you see anything, please give us a call, blah, 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 blah. So this morning, uh, uh, one of the ladies that we met, she uh, calls my husband to let him know that she sees our puppy. Now, I want to play this message for you guys. And she called me as well. And listen to this. So that's the message that I got this morning, okay? So after I dropped my children off, I went and she gave such accurate description of everything. And it was so easy to get to that, where she was saying. And she was... And so when I get there, I didn't see her, okay? So I passed the house. I didn't see her. I went a little bit further down. because Maybe she decided to walk off. Still didn't see her anywhere. So I... Made a U-turn. I seen two gentlemen, you know, t talking. I just went up to them, trespassed, <laughs> walk into their little garage section. I said, excuse me, have you seen a dog and blah, blah? I'm looking. I explain how the dog looks. And and he says to me, no, we haven't seen any dogs. Like I said, somebody just called me and told me they saw my dog here. Because the house that they were saying is like right next door to them. And um, I couldn't see them. Now, the thing is, when you're driving... Uh, it's harder to see because, you know, you could just easily pass, bypass. So I decided to um, walk on foot, patrol on foot. So I just decided to walk instead. And as I was walking, what do you know? I see my puppy on a porch, like the lady said, and she was napping. So I immediately said, Maxie, when I said her name, she gets up and she looks at me. I like can shock, like, oh my God, how did you find me? And so I, I just trespassed and went into this people's yard and just went all the way to the yard where the, my dog was. And I just was like, come here, baby, come here. And she was kind of like, she was shaking, shivering. She was cold. She was, uh, it was cold last night and it was cold even like this morning. So she's like shaking and she's like all scared and she's like wagging a little bit. And she lets me grab, I pick her up. And I uh, and I showed the guy, look, I told you I found her. He was like, oh my God, congratulations, wow. <laughs> so I put her to the look in my car in the passenger seat. And I go ahead and I, you know, get in the car. And she was so scared. She just crawled, like, you know, she just walked over to me and she just stayed on my lap. And she didn't want to go anywhere. She just stayed right there. And I held on to her. I said, I got you, baby. I got you. You yes, it's okay. Mommy got you. <laughs> so I drove home with her and she's home. And that's the story. So the moral of what the story is, I have to be very, we, my family, we have to be very careful. When you have a dog who's a puppy, you cannot leave her alone because they get into a lot of things. They're like children. It's the truth. They do things and things happen and it's our fault. We trusted this puppy not thinking that she would dig holes and she would do what she did, but she did. So now we have to just, you know, secure the yard and do better. So with that being said, that's my story. God is good. Thank you, God, for bringing us the puppy. My children are devastated. They went to school today, depressed, praying. And I, and I told them, mommy's going to get your dog. And I did get my dog. I got her. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what's, what's, what's going on with her right now. I'm going to post